Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Right Rope, where our goal is to get you the right rope at the right price and give excellent customer service. Today, we're going to use several ropes we sell at Right Rope to show you four different knots you can use for outdoors. For this knot, we're going to use paracord. Paracord is a real strong, durable, small rope that's great for camping and outdoors. The first knot we're going to show you is the clove hitch. This knot is great for securing your rope to an object. The benefit of this knot is that it is easy to tie and untie, but it does make a less secure knot. Now, let's show you how to tie the clove hitch. Take the end of your rope around the object you want to go around, cross over the top of the standing part of the rope, come under and around one more time, and then tuck the end underneath that little crossover point. There you have it, that is the clove hitch. The next knot we wanna show you is one of the most reliable knots out there. It's called the round turn with two half hitches. For this one, we're gonna be using paracord again. You might use this knot to secure the end of a rope to a fixed object like a tree trunk or a branch. This is a great knot because the tension and friction it provides makes for no slipping. Let me show you how to tie the round turn with two half hitches. Take the end of the rope around the object you want to tie around, cross over the standing part of the rope, come up through the bottom, that's one half hitch, cross over the standing part of the rope again, up through the bottom, that's two half hitches. The next knot we want to show you is the sheet bend. For this knot, we'll be using a piece of 12 strand arborist bull rope and a piece of half inch double braid nylon. The sheet bend is commonly used to join two ropes together, even if the ropes are completely different sizes. An example would be if you didn't have a long enough rope and needed to extend it. Keep in mind, this knot is only reliable when loaded. Let me show you how to tie the sheep end. Make a loop of rope with one rope. Come up through that loop with the second rope. Go around the end and the standing part of the rope. And then come right underneath that part right there. And pull it tight. The last knot we'll be going over is the bowline knot. This classic knot is great for making a temporary loop at the end of a rope. This loop is great because it does not slip when under load and is easy to tie and untie. For this knot, we're gonna use half inch double braid nylon. Double braid nylon is a great, soft, easy handling rope with very high strength and great stretch. First, make a small loop of rope, taking the end of the rope over top of the standing part of the rope. Bring the end of the rope up through that hole, around behind the standing part and then back down through that hole. There it is, the bowling knot. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you need some rope, visit rightrope.com to get the right rope at the right price.